Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to a review of two new Disney Store Maters. Now, I usually don't review the Disney Store cars on my channel just because there's so much other Mattel stuff that I could review, but now it's kind of slowing down and I actually don't have anything really new for Mattel. I do have a custom hauler to review and a variant two-pack, but I thought maybe change it up a little bit and review some Disney Store cars. So let me know in the comment section below if you want me to continue reviewing some more Disney Store cars. As you can see, I do have these two maters in front of you. I also have some other Disney Store cars. So I have this Fillmore here in this uh, artist series. I also know that currently there's an artist series being released that John Lassatire designed and he made the surfing kind of um, Hawaiian type cars and I believe Mater, Lightning McQueen, and Fillmore are part of that series and they look absolutely amazing so when I get those, if I do buy them, I will definitely review those because those look really cool. I mean they have surfboards on the top and they just look really cool. Now these are two Maters that I was able to acquire over the summer and uh, I'm not really sure if there were any other Maters. I don't believe there were in the Chasers, like in just the regular basic line. I do know that there were some uh, Artist Series Maters, but these are the basic ones. And all of the really new cars that Disney Store comes out with, they are called Chasers. As you can see in this kind of silver logo there, it says Chasers and Series there. It's kind of hard to see, but it says Chaser Series there. Now it just calls it Mater. It doesn't really designate what kind of Mater it is. And this Mater seems to be kind of like a just a brand new Mater without a hood. And I just kind of bought it because it was different. It doesn't really excite me or anything because I don't really know what it's supposed to be. It's just kind of like a regular blue Mater and um, without the hood there. So it's not brand new Mater. And there's nothing really on the package here. Nothing on the back. If you do remember, they used to actually have acrylic cases like that Artist Series one that I just showed you. But now they all are in this kind of plastic box, unfortunately. Now the next Mater here is a lot more exciting in my opinion. This is like a sushi truck Mater. So you know how they did the taco truck Mater? So now they have a sushi truck Mater. And this actually looks really cool because the Disney Store tends to kind of go out of the box and release die casts that actually never appeared in the movie. So they have a lot of that and this is one of them. And it just looks really cool. I mean he actually has a decent looking expression compared to this one. I've never really been a fan of Mater's expression from the Disney Store line. But this one actually she looks pretty decent and he's got kind of like the kabuki on the front there and also a chaser as you can see nothing else on the package here so i'm really excited to open these up and compare them to the taco truck mater so i'll be right back with both these opened up all right here i have them opened up and one thing i wanted to mention to you guys before we got into the actual review is that the disney store doesn't have the best quality control unfortunately a lot of their cars have paint effects and just not the best quality on the die cast for example here we got this brand new mater and he's got kind of like this gray streak not really sure what that is but you can see just kind of like a gray streak going across there it doesn't really look too good you can see it's going right across there also kind of it's like a chip on the like corner of the light there and um most obvious on the back of the uh, sushi truck here or actually on the side is as you can see the like paint is peeling off or whatever this like material is that's on there it's like peeling off around the fender there and this is what it's supposed to look like nice and smooth on the uh, side here it's not like that and uh, i didn't do anything to it. it came right out of the box like that unfortunately there's also like a little tear right there so it just doesn't have the best quality control but basically though the cars look absolutely amazing although i really do not know what this mater is supposed to be it does look pretty cool though i'm not gonna lie it actually looks pretty decent he really has his mouth open really wide there, and I never really cared for the Disney Store's eyes, just never looked the best. Here's like the regular Mater, or just kind of like a race team Mater here. As you can see, they didn't really change up the eyes too much, uh, just kind of a little bit different coloring. As you can see there, the expression's the same. He's got like the gray hood in there. And on the side, to tow Mater's towing and salvage radiator springs. On the back, his traditional A113 license plate and some nice gray towing gear. So I'll compare them to the uh, Mattel brand new Mater. This is what the Mattel brand new Mater looks like. So you can see different coloring. Obviously, he has the hood there. 
but basically the same. So I would assume this is basically a brand new Mather without the hood. I don't know why the Disney store would do that, but I definitely picked it up. Just kind of it's different, like a conversation piece, I'd like to call it. So since it doesn't have a hood, it reminds me of the Roland Bolin Mather. As you can see here, this is kind of like a brand new Mather, except it doesn't have the hood. And uh, of course, the Roland Bowen Mater was one of those special Mattel cars back in 2006 that has this kind of Mater at bowling deck on there, which is pretty cool. So uh, yeah, that's basically all for this Mater. There's not really too much to talk about with him. But for the Sushi Truck Mater, there's actually quite a bit to talk about him. I actually really do like him. First off, his expression looks a lot better than the expression on this Mater back here. It just looks a lot more characterized, gives him more personality. It's got kind of like the front of like a, the Kabuki Mater. The Japanese mayor with the umbrella, so that's kind of like the front of it here. He's got these three horns on it that the taco truck mater had. Of course, these huge review mirrors on the side. It says Toe Mater Sushi, and it's got like a little Japanese designer of flowers or something. And uh, on the back here, it says Lunchbox Special, some more designs. And you can kind of see up there, it's kind of hard to read, but it says, uh, I believe hub, kappa, spring roll, and hot socket. So that's pretty cool. It's probably different forms of sushi. I personally never had su sushi, and I just don't really, it doesn't appeal to me. But I know some of you guys most likely have had sushi and like it. So I love the detail on the top here. It looks really cool. I have to say, this is way more detailed than the taco truck mater, as you can see. Taco truck mater does not have any details down here on the little, uh, visor up there while this has says sushi and has designs as tomaters up here just looks a lot more detailed in my opinion also on top here they got these kind of like panels and says lunchbox special basically the same over here only doesn't say lunchbox special the detail really comes in on the back it says tomaters sushi Nigiri relates to like some sort of gears here. I'm not really sure what that means. Probably has some relations towards sushi, but I'm not entirely sure as I don't eat it. And one thing that I find really cool and interesting about this, besides as I say, it's got kind of like the front of the Kabuki Mater. And if you know the Kabuki Mater has the umbrella in the back, and look, there's the umbrella right there. It's just kind of in the back. I find that kind of cool. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to mean. I mean, it could be just a coincidence, but I find that really cool that it actually showed up on the back there um, I may just be kind of overthinking things but I think that's really cool on this side here is uh, also very detailed of course we got a few more options for the lunchbox special uh, the other side just showed the bottom roll and this side has two rows the top one says tuna roll dragster roll bearing roll I believe that's what bearing row so that's what it says and then of course hub kappa spring roll and hot socket so that's really cool i love that detailing there do not love that though but uh, the rest of it does look really good i actually really do like this man it looks really cool of course compared to the taco truck made it here a lot more detailed i mean look at that like they really put a lot more detail into the sushi shop or the uh, sushi truck mater than they did the taco truck mater so i really like them a lot more so let me know in the comment section below do you like the taco truck mater more or do you like the sushi truck mater more even though he actually didn't appear in the movie and i just wanted to kind of briefly show him to the mattel one although i mean obviously different scale and basically the same detailing as the disney store version because they're the same car but i just kind of wanted to show it this actually flips up and down so that's kind of a cool and um but basically the same. It would be cool though if Mattel kind of got into the releasing things that weren't in the movie. I mean, they have done that with the World Grand Prix series, but I don't know. I feel like it would have been cool to get like a sushi truck made from Mattel, but I doubt they'll ever actually do that. So that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching and uh, let me know if you want to see some more Disney Store reviews. I mean, I do have quite a bit more Disney Store m merchandise that I could review, so let me know about that. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.